My name is Ray Tagabi. I'm the instructor for the propulsion systems for UAVs and general aviation aircraft short course. I'm currently a professor and the associate chair of the Department of Aerospace Engineering at the University of Kansas. Before joining KU in 1991, I was a research engineer at NASA Glenn Research Center. This unique short course that has been offered in the past 21 years provides a detailed understanding of the practical aspects of propulsion systems that are available for UAVs and GA aircraft. The emphasis is placed on aircraft reciprocating engines, rotary engines, and electric propulsion that are the dominant propulsion systems on GA aircraft and UAVs. Some unique features of small gas turbine engines, including turboprops, turboshafts, and turbofans will also be addressed. We start the course with covering the aircraft engine selection methodology and then continue with actual engine cycles for four strokes, two strokes, diesels, gas turbines, Wankel and Stirling engines. Some brief comparisons with theoretical cycles will also be presented. The next topic is engine performance parameters and calculations such as indicated horsepower, brake horsepower, friction horsepower, manifold absolute pressure, cylinder head temperature, RPM, torque, piston displacement, compression ratio, thermal efficiency, volumetric efficiencies, and so on will be addressed during this part. The recipro reciprocating engine components and constructions that includes cylinders, pistons, connecting rods, crankshafts, crankcase, valves, and valve operating mechanisms will be continuing that the first chapter. Actual engine hardware will be used whenever possible for demonstration purposes. The next topic that will be covered is engine classification by cylinder arrangements and cooling. Then we will move on to the detailed coverage of engine systems that includes induction systems, supercharging, turbocharging, engine cooling and exhaust systems. Turbo compound engines will be covered as well. Lubrication systems will include wet sump, dry sump systems, pressure and scavenge pumps, oil coolers, oil filter, oil dilution systems. Fuel requirements for aircraft engines and engine NOx is next. We'll be covering avgas, octane number, performance number, fuel air ratio requirements, pre-ignition, detonation, backfiring, after firing. And then we move on to the carburation systems, which includes float type carburetors, pressure injection carburetors, fuel injection systems, full authority digital engine controls, FADEX. And then the next uh, system would be ignition system, which we cover high and low tension ignition systems, magnetos, and spark plugs. Propellers and propeller systems is, are the next part of the uh, systems. That includes theory, air faults, factors affecting propeller efficiency, propeller selection, sizing, propeller governors, constant speed props, feathering, reversing, synchronizing, synchrophasing, reduction gears, and material. The course will be concluded with the coverage of electric propulsion, which includes electric motors, DC and AC, solar cells, batteries, and fuel cells. I'm looking forward to seeing you in an upcoming propulsion short course offered by University of Kansas Aerospace Short Courses.